Hello everyone, it's Craig Bowden here with Fibernext, and today we're going to talk about our 24 fiber MPO optical test switch for 100G networks. So here's our MPO test switch. It's got an SC connector input port and an MPO 24 fiber connection output. Uh, it's got a little kickstand on the back here. You can easily make that so the display is easy to read. There's a USB port which will allow you to do some remote control with a uh, PC, laptop, or external test device, as well as charging. On the front panel display, there's a couple of uh, up and down keys. These can increment your fiber from the SC connector in to the various different fibers within the MPO on the test port out. So there we go. Okay, in this display, we're going to show you how to take a conventional OTDR and connect it to our MPO switch and perform uh, discrete fiber testing on an MPO target test cable. So today we're using a JDSU T-Bird 4000. Uh, it's a great OTDR for this application where you've got an SC connector OM3 coming out of the OTDR into our test switch, which is an external device. It's our MPO test switch from Fibernext. Uh, where you've got a 24 fiber MPO test cable coming out since we're using an OTDR, we're going to do framed link testing, which requires a launch cord. So we plug our launch cord to the output port of the switch, and then we're going to come over here and plug the cord into our cable under test. So this gets us from our launch cable into our cable under test. Uh, we're going to shoot through this cable under test, fiber by fiber, and uh, we'll come out through another MPO adapter into a receiving cable, uh, thusly giving us framed link testing. Between our input launch and our receive cable, we will be able to frame link test all the individual fibers within this test cable. So we're using the JDSU T-Bird 4000 OTDR today. It's got a three nanosecond high resolution uh, pulse width, which will really help for this type of uh, test. So you can clearly see we've got a nice delay line into the front end connector through the MPO cable under test. There's our input connector and there's our output connector, uh, both of which you can see clearly with the framed link test. So over at the switch, we're currently testing fiber number one. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to fiber number two. Uh, let's actually... We'll just bring the switch a little closer over here so you guys can see because we are testing in real time. Uh, so currently on fiber number two, that's on the display here. I'll go ahead and bounce that up to number three. You see some subtle changes from fiber to fiber. Oh, fiber number four is a very low loss test. Fiber number five looks ideal. Essentially, you want very low reflectance, very low insertion loss on both your input and your output fibers. I can just scroll up from six to seven to eight and so on. So this 24 fiber version of this switch is available in OM4. We have single mode and OM3 versions available for our 12 fiber switch. To learn more, go on ahead and contact us at 866-470-6398 or fibernext.com. Uh, please go on ahead and check out our LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook pages as well. Thanks.